We're on the ground that leads east. Sadly, we arrived just after the cafe closed. However, they were very accommodating, offering us a coffee and some cake. The next leg of this flight takes us down to Gamston, and there's a few things to think about along the way. The first of which was the fact that there was a very, very strong northerly wind of around 35 to 40 knots. This provided a couple of issues, however, overall worked to our advantage. I was very conscious on the ground that as we took off and turned southbound, our ground speed was going to increase to around 140 knots. This meant it would be a very, very light call to Doncaster, questing a VFR zone transit. So my departure plan was to climb upwind and do a slow climbing turn to the right, gaining altitude and stopping us from drifting too far south. Gamson is a great airfield, it's open slightly later at night until quarter to six, which enabled us to land just before dark and then the transit back to Blackpool was at night time. If you enjoyed this video guys, please do subscribe if you are new and I'll speak to you soon. Okay, so what's good to do is because we're going to have a really quick call to Doncaster if we basically just start to set everything up now whilst we're on the ground. Yep. It's a good thing to do, so. Right, let's have a look at. Uh, we'll get. Gamston Radio 130. Gamston Radio 130, 330 degrees. 130475, let's get that on uh, standby. 130. They've got a VOR there, which is on one, uh, 12.80. Decimal eight zero. If it's a VOR DME, so it's going to give us a radial and bearing distance from it. So that's all set up, that tells our distance. And that's going to come through on that one, and on that one. Right. And we're direct to Gampston, which is Echo Golf November Echo. Gamston, confirm Gamston, direct. So is that going to come through on that as well as that? No, so that one will come to fire press nav on here. Yeah. We can put 122.8 on here. Right. 112 eight correction. Gamston VOR. Yep. But that'll come on now. It won't work on the ground after I identify it, obviously. Yep. That checks to VOR. That's all set. So we'll taxi to the Alpha 2 hole, which is over there, or Alpha 3 hole, that'll be a short backtrack. Or we'll, might send us a whole way round. Let's hope they do We're departing to the northwest, climbing to 3000. They don't do that. I've got through the formal journey. QNH1004. QNH1004, Golf 2.4. Radio Golf, Bravo and remember Oscar Papa were 2, POB VFR 2, Gamston requesting airfield information. Golf Oscar Papa, runway news 34 right hand, the QNH1004, taxi initially Alpha 3. 34 right hand, 1004, will taxi to hold Alpha 3, Golf Oscar Papa. Okie dokie. Circuits out of the fella, isn't he? Yeah, I think. A good look out. I can't see anyone on the visual circuit at the moment, I don't know if he might have just departed, you know. Right. Golf Oscar Papa, Alpha 3, ready for departure. Golf uh, Oscar Papa, Roger, there's nothing there to affect your backtrack and departure on the turn on runway 34. The wind is 330 degrees, 15 knots. Roger, that's all copied, entering backtrack in runway 34, Golf Oscar Papa. Taking off runway 34. Okay, RPM is set, and your temperature pressures are on the green. Airspeed's coming alive. Air 60. These are always strange take off when you've got a slow ground speed. Yeah.
Keeping your temperature pressures on the grain. Fantastic climb, right? Yeah, it is, isn't it? So, as I say, we'll just continue our climb upwind at the moment. As soon as we start our turn to the right, we're going to be absolutely rocketing off. So we'll do a really slow climbing turn. There's no other reported circuit traffic. Blowing back already. Got an old disused airfield as well over that way, which is York, Ruthus, Ruthus West and East. Okay, past a thousand feet fuel pump coming off and landing light coming off. Loads of disused airfields around here. Shame, it's really. Old, old bomber country, isn't it, really? Yeah, it will be, yeah. And you're telling me the pressures are still in the green. Cool, Boss Cobbler is to point to the south east, again, two freaks to change to Doncaster, one, two, six, seven, four, two, two, five, thanks a lot for having us. Uh, cool, Boss Cobbler, it's a pleasure, thanks for coming, bye-bye. Thanks, bye. Chichi 198, head top to riding 220 degrees. Right heading 220 degrees, Chichi 198, head top. Four six nine contact Doncaster Tower one two eight seven seven five. One two eight seven seven five four six nine. Doncaster radar. Good afternoon, Golf Bravo November. Ask Papa request traffic service in zone transit. Golf Bravo November. Ask Papa Doncaster radar. Squawk six one six two. Six one six two. Golf Ask Papa. Hundred thirty knots ground speed. Copper to Papa identified, traffic service, partial detail. Traffic service, Golf Bravo number Copper, PA28 leads east to Gamston. Requesting a VFR zone transit direct, Gamston is possible to altitude 2,800 feet, 1004. Golf Bravo number Oscar Papa, Roger, traffic service, QNH 1004, stand by, I'll go back to you very shortly. Traffic service 1004, Golf Bravo. He's now going to be having a look if we can... Jersey 198 uh, Hotel, turn right, heading 270 degrees. Do that routing. Right, heading 270 degrees. With 140 knots ground speed, it's not going to be too much of an issue. Wow. Yeah, that's, uh, I believe, that's outside controlled airspace in the gaps for a second. Copy, thank you. Copy, November, Oscar Papa, clear to transit, VFR, not above altitude 3,000 feet, but not below 2,000 feet, please. QNH 1204, and advise if unable to maintain VMC. Clear transit, VFR, advise maintaining VMC, and uh, not below altitude 3,000 feet, not below altitude 2,000 feet, 1004, stack, golf us over. Golf us over, correct. Jersey 198, hotel, turn right heading 290 degrees. Right heading 290 degrees, Jersey 198, hotel. So that's a pretty easy crossing, we've got a 1,000 foot block, which is really good of him because it means that we're able to adjust our height accordingly if we aren't going to be able to maintain Yeah, it's really VMC. good of him though. Like you say, we're one nine eight hotel. Turn right, heading three five zero degrees. Three knots over the ground. Two thousand five hundred feet. Clear dial approach. Runway zero two. Right heading three five zero degrees. Descend altitude two thousand five hundred feet. Clear dial approach. 
Ben, uh, currently at this, we're 10 minutes away. Because right. we're, we're doing 145 knots. I mean, you can see the wind, can't you, out to our left looking at the... Um, I was just going to say that, you just look at the uh, the trails coming out of that power station, it's... Uh, I mean, that's why our route is, you know, arguably a little bit cheeky, just asking to go direct, but... What planes for? <laughs> well, exactly. But because, um, because of our ground speed, it's worth an ask, because we are super quick. Okay, after departure free to check fuel, content efficient, we don't need to swap tanks yet. Radios, we've got Gamston set next on 130475. Engine teeth piece in the green and put the carb heat on. DI auto align on these and altitude we've got 1234 set and we're at altitude 2800 feet. So after parture for your check is complete. JG198 Hotel, let's find the Hotel, Roger, contact Doncaster Tower, 128775, good day. 128775. Contact November, ask about back. Radar control service entering controlled airspace. Radar control service and entering, golf ask about there will be a visual circuit active at Doncaster, uh, PA31. That's copy, thank you, Governor Swabber. I'll tell you what's really good about this is for someone who doesn't do much flying or undone much, they'd be worried about going through that lot. Well, that's the thing. I am a real advocate of blasting through control airspace because people worry. Like, and, and people would literally do this whole flight and be scared of talking to Doncaster and not going through. I'd, I'd be going round here and round yeah. the corner. But why, you know, it's like... When you're safer in control airspace, you're under control, you get a service. I must admit, I thought that, actually. I thought, well, s someone's watching out for you, aren't they? Yeah. So, so why not? <laughs> First listening to COM2, just what's going on in the Gamston circuit. You notice how it's a lot more still, the fact that now we've got this tailwind, we're not just bumping around. Yeah. Lovely. Here's Doncaster International Airport, that we're just, uh, just flying over, just because, you know, give them a call last minute, alright, want to come over? Yeah. Golf Charlie Papa, runway vacate to 3 two. One just landed. Awesome. Over on way zero three, left hand downwind join. I mean, this is all. This is a tricky thing now. So we're only five minutes away from them. So the issue is, if we call them too late, we, we might not be in the correct position for our join. Yeah, so I think as soon as we get sort of like past that bit there, yep. give them a call. Okay, stop the tanks. Ash is holding. Golf Charlie Papa Alpha waiting to cross 03 visual with traffic on runway. Roger. Uh, Golf Charlie Mike uh, taking off 03. Golf Oscar Papa, the PA31 is just turning on to a uh, final at 2 mile for runway 02, and when ready, descend as required for Gamston, report visual Gamston. So that's good, so the controller, even though we're right above their international airport, down our right hand side, has said, right, okay, you're ready to sort of descend, um, and there's one traffic on a, a, a final uh, approach. Good of him though. Really good. So we've got runway 03, left hand down when join. Circuit through over 1000 foot QFE. It says standard overhead join, so we'll just see what's happening with the traffic because from our position we should be alright joining downwind, it's not going to be too much different from us going all the way over at the sending dead side to join crosswind. It's going to be about the bloody same. Yeah. Gives you a bit more downwind. time as well, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So start our descent now. Copper's probably starting the descent. Roger. Report visual Gamston. It looks like there's one climbing out of Gamston at the moment. Well, co traffic copy, Gov's Papa.
Imagine if we were going the other way. I mean, we have to go the other way to get home. Yeah, it'll be a bit slower. So as soon as we're visual, which shouldn't be too long at all. I'll check what the airfield elevation is. 87 feet, so that's fine, we're basically on. Yeah, I think visual with it now, it's just sort of past the next town. Got past the pathway, uh, visual with Gamson, so that's been changed on 30475. Got past the road, just caught 7000 and changed to one route, g'day. Score 7000, change on route, thanks for the try and see it go up. Bye bye. No problem. Camston Radio, Golf, Bravo, and remember Oscar Papa, 6 miles to the northwest inbound, request there for information. Time for runway 03, left hand circuit, the QFE is 1001. 03, left hand QFE 1001, Golf, Oscar Papa. This is Cirrus speed now, 150 knots. This is the sort of speed they fly over the SR22T. Brilliant. They fly everywhere. What's that? Miles per hour, 170 ish? Yeah. Today there was something just coming out of Gamston. Yeah, I think so. Is there any circuit traffic going past Papa? I don't think I can see anyone. Why oh, there? Have you got any traffic in the circuit, Golf Oscar? I think there's one of the craft in the circuit just departed runway 03. Traffic copy, we're just ready to join left hand downwind on way 03, go across cover. Roger. Are you visual with him? Golf, no. Oscar Kilo, is this departure 32 to the uh, southwest? Roger. Southwest, where's that? Go across cover, join the circuit left down when we are visual with traffic head. Yep. Roger. He's on a southwesterly departure, which is okay because it's basically the heading that we're on. Yep. Couple of stops left down in zero three to land. Okay, toes are clear. The brakes on the carriage is attached. Mixture is fully rich. Fuel pumps coming on. Instruments key fee set one zero zero uh, one, I think, wasn't it? Yep. Uh, car Pete, we've just had on for a uh, moment. changing frequency to Doncaster on 126. You're all strapped in, I'm all strapped in. Yep. Thanks, goodbye. Roger. Gamster Radio, November 719, a request to start. Again, we're going to be quick on this turn. Avoid the village down there. Gamsa Radio, November 719, a clear request as you start and uh, have some information, please. 03, left hand circuit, QFE 1001, QNH 1004. 03, left hand 1001, 1004. Again, here on left base, we've got huge ground speed, so you know, you're going to get round quickly. And then as you start your turn, you get blown off, so, you know, I always usually turn slightly early. Yeah, I've been caught out a few times with that. A bit high at the minute, but it's alright, it's correcting. Got us have a final Series 3 to land. A crosswind. Okay. Corpus Papa, landing 
There's also another there clear here, there's a taxi to hold shot at Alpha. Station calling, say again? Uh, November 9 clear here, just a taxi to hold shot at Alpha. Roger, zero 03, left hand, QNH is 1004, one aircraft on short final. Oh, that's all copied, hold your shot, no, they're clear. That was much better, that. Yep. No, why? Because you have more, <laughs> more crosswinds, so you were concentrating more. Yeah, fair point. Little jet there holding for us. I've done exactly the same. I did a load of crosswind landings. Them great. And the easy one. Go off the kilo departing to the southwest and changing to East Village Radar, 134 decimal 175. Roger. Call us office, make 80 Roger, not aware of anything. Okay, flaps up. Three you pump off. That's one to stand by. Can you see what I mean about how quickly we got here and, and how quickly things happen? Oh, it was very busy. You're not prepared. Oh, and... And that sort of thing, you know, about thinking ahead, really. November 719 Kalima is uh, entering the Alpha to backtrack and line up on way 03. to work harder in our jobs and get something like that. Oh. <laughs> that just opens up a whole new life again, doesn't it? Okay, parking brake on.